and welcome to Good Cutting High School for our production of Bang Bang You're Dead. Um, this show, if you have not seen it, is a play about school violence. Um, so when you're watching, we hope that you take notice to um, what students can kind of go through in a typical day. Um, a lot of times we have students who get bullied and picked on. We never hear about them. Um, there's some that do tell. You have some statistics there in your program. Um, that I hope brings some light to the subject of school violence. Um, Rachel Scott was the first student who was killed in Columbine um, High School Massacre. And she had a quote that she left in her journal that her father likes to share um, when he goes and talks about um, school violence. And so I thought I would share it with you this evening. I thought it would be appropriate. It says, I have this theory that if one person can go out of their way to show compassion, then it will start a chain reaction of the same. People will never know how far a little kindness will go. So as you think about that and watch the show tonight, remember to show a little kindness. And it goes a long way. So we hope that you enjoy our production of Bang Bang Your Day. There are seven colors in the rainbow, 26 letters in the alphabet, 12 notes in a musical scale, 50 stars on the American flag, and over 130,000 guns brought into U.S. schools every day. You were only a freshman. You could have been team captain by your senior year. Why me? I never hurt you. It was more fun to drop in dudes in a video game. Why me? Why not? World's overpopulated. I wanted to do my part. You liked me. Once upon a time. Why you have to kill me? Felt like it, okay? Happy now? Why me? <laughs> what is this? Why me? I don't even know you. You were in the wrong place at the wrong time. Why me? Why not you? Everybody's gotta die sometime. Might as well get it over with. Why me, Josh? We lived on the same street. We used to make mud pies together when, when we were little kids. I taught you to blow bubbles with your chewing gum. I came to your birthdays. You came to mine. When we were 11, you let me play war with you and the other boys because you liked how I died. Bang! 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 Hope I didn't disappoint you in the cafeteria. This morning. Hope I died just right for you, Josh. You didn't have to follow me and get me all bloody. Want to see it again? Go on! Shoot me again! Bam! Love that feeling. Love it. Crave it. Need it. Gotta have a gun grip in your hand. Hey. hey. Always wanted to be an army ranger, parachuting behind enemy lines. Ever since I could hold a cap gun, water gun, air gun, pop gun, BB gun, 12 gauge, 22, 38, 45. A gun makes you feel alive. Alive. Respect. Watch out. Move aside. Nobody can touch you. When you have a gun. Nobody mocks you. When you have a gun. You can take on anybody. Anybody. The champ wrestler. The whole wrestling team. The bad dudes. The game man. When you have a gun, people talk nice. When you have a gun. People look you like you're a VIP. VIP. When somebody bumps you, they say excuse me. You walk different. When you have a gun. You talk different. 
when you have a gun. You think that when you have a gun. <laughs> it's so cool. When you have a gun. 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 It's an A+. Plus. Slam dunk. Touchdown. Put down. All in one. One. Love that military stance. You ain't got a check. Respect. Watch out! Move aside! You can be whatever you want to be. Because a gun in your hand is a PhD. Josh, there's no more buying you a rifle. Come on, will you listen to me? First, you had to have a laptop, then a PC, then every video game I played. First school, Dad. And a cell phone, a feed for the new song I use every three months. You have to have every CD you hear on the radio. An expensive mountain bike to go three times. A snowboard you never used, and now a rifle. Please. Grandpa wants to take me hunting. I'm absolutely against it. Are you rejecting what your own father thinks? Of course not. Then I should have the rifle, right? I bet you felt as passionate about your grades as you have a rifle. You're changing the subject. You have a high IQ. Your B's and C's should be all in. Would you get off my back about my IQ? You might feel differently if you were living up to your full potential. Okay. You give me the rifle, and I'll bring you home all A's on my next report card. Deal? Oh, well, we'll talk about a rifle when we see all A's. You don't even trust me. Josh, you know that's not true. If you trust me, you give me the rifle now. You have all A's to discuss it. Hunting season won't be over by the time grades come out. Then I'll have to wait a whole year. You have to learn patience. Hunting teaches patience. Grandpa said. But what's he know? He's only your father. I just want to spend some time with Grandpa. Hear some stories about when he grew up. Learn some respect. Learn some responsibility for firearms. How is all that bad? It's not bad, Josh. We're just not comfortable with guns. You know, if I wanted to, I could get a gun in school for 50 bucks. How? Easy. I know a kid who stole a gun from his father. But I wouldn't buy it because that'd be wrong. Is this what I get for being honest? Maybe it's honesty. It deserves a rifle for a reward. Maybe you shouldn't have came in every time Josh throws a tantrum. Uh-huh. What about the electric guitar about when threw himself on the floor? Showed an interest in music. Yeah, and that's what he does in the closet. <laughs> divide and conquer. Works every time. It's not play me. Play my folks. They don't have to buy me the rifle. You still didn't answer my question. Why me? Why did you kill me? <laughs> it's simple math. My rifle holds five bullets. Five bullets, five people. Perfect. The bullet that killed me pierced my parents' hearts, too. Pierced my brothers' and sisters' hearts. Pierced my friends' hearts. Pierced the hearts of parents who send their kids to school. Just five bullets? Wounded hundreds. Thousands. Wounds that bleed. Wounds that weep. Wounds that never heal. Wounds that are very real. Thousands! Kill them! That's not a good enough answer, Josh! It's not fair! Not fair! Not fair at all! That our bodies are in profit while you still breathe the air! Look at it this way. You got yourselves a cozy little place and you can't beat the rent. It's not fair! Not fair! Not fair at all! So we're under the earth and you don't even care! You know what's not fair? Some dude jumped before I had the chance to reload it. I could have dropped a lot more bodies to make history. We demand an honest answer, Josh! Why? Why did you kill us? It was fun. You don't have the proper frame of mind. We'll be all over you. Up one side, down the other. In your face. On your skin. She tell us why. Why? Why'd you kill us? Lay off me. We're gonna open you up. Dissect you like a frog. Pluck at your heart. Just for a start. Can you tell us why? Why? Why me? Why anybody? Why? Why? Why'd you kill us? Just tell us nothing good on TV. We'll do whatever it takes tonight. Whatever it takes. To crack you open. So then you'll live in hell without love. Without decency. Without comfort. A kid in a cage. In a zoo misfit. Even until you and you're astute. Broken. Bitter. Old man. Full of scars. Scars on body and mind. Friendless. Hopeless. Mindless. Soulless. Some way will get me off. If you survive. Survive what? You're bad boy! You talking to me? My name's Josh, what's yours? You the new dude that all seven people? If that guy had a jump me, I could have taken out a hundred more and made history. Well, tomorrow we're gonna find out just how bad you are. What do you mean? Oh, you'll see what I mean, bad boy. Whoa. Feel your cells start to shrink. Feel the walls closing in. Compressing your thoughts. Cramming your brain. Driving you insane. You wish you were dead. <laughs> your six by eight will be your coffin. Nobody will hear. When you scream and cry. Why? Why? Why did you kill us? You can't hurt me. You're all dead. We need some answers, Josh. We want some answers tonight, Josh. We want the truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. As the cop said, I have the right to remain silent. Anything I say can be held against me. The court will now hear the prosecutor's opening statement. Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, 